this is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back with quick hits. A uh, great night of boxing. We're just going to do Cambosis and Lopez. I'll do a show tomorrow. Uh, oh, sorry about that. We'll do a show tomorrow on the Texas Boxing Scene channel on the um, Figueroa fight. Um, the Figueroa phone fight. Both fights were absolutely spectacular. Uh, before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Please subscribe to the other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, where all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Guys, um, let's get into the Cambosis uh, upset. Um, I, I, I don't even know where to go with this. This was so unexpected. Um, you know, Lopez got a brand new contract before yesterday's fight. I think everyone was kind of overlooking this. Lopez was picking a first <laughs> knockout. I picked him in the fifth or the sixth. I, I really didn't think this fight was going to be competitive. Uh, it turned out being the fight of the year. The upset of the year, guys, is this a bigger upset than Mikey Garcia getting beat by Sandor Martin? I know the stakes were a lot higher in this fight, uh, but is the upset bigger? Sandor Martin, I mean, no one knew who that was, and he beat Mikey Garcia. Is, is this a bigger upset? I don't know. Um, but it, it's the fight of the year. It's the uh, possibly the upset of the year. Um, it's just, I mean, an unbelievable fight. Really, really a great fight. Um, Lopez came out reckless. Lopez predicted a first round knockout in an interview with the zone um, yesterday. Um, and then he, um, today, he came out looking, gunning for that first round knockout. Like he was all in on that first round knockout, and he ended up getting dropped. He was super aggressive. Um, the instructions he was getting from his corner. Uh, not no disrespect to uh, Tiafimo Lopez Senior, but um, f this mother effer was the uh, height of the advice that Tiafimo was getting. That's not that's not really good instruction. Uh, it was kind of like if you can't blow him out in the first round, uh, if you can't blow him out, um, you know, if you can't knock him out, we don't really have another option. Uh, this was not – the corner work was not good. Um, I don't know where the guy was, the team with Lopez, that uh, uh, outboxed Vasily Lomachenko. I, I thought it beat Lomachenko widely. Um I, where was that guy? This guy was just loading up, and he was getting nailed shot after shot from Cambosis. It's like with the real TFP with Lopez, I, Lopez, please stand up. Like, what's the real TFP with Lopez, the one we saw with Lomachenko or the one we saw with Cambosis? Cambosis, I thought, lost to Lee Selby. The, I don't know what to make of this fight. Like, I really – I mean, this is an incredible upset. I mean – Great fight. Um, really, really, really good fight. I mean, I, I don't know if he'll do it again. I don't know if Kim Bostis is going to fight Haney or Loma or Ryan Gard. I, I don't know what they're going to do. But this was a great fight. I Of those 135-pounders, Lopez is the first one. Um, with an L, you know, you have Ryan, Devin, and, 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 and T.O. T.O. is the first one with an L. He looked to be by far the best. Um, I, I again, I'm, I'm I'm just shocked, right? Like I, I thought Lopez got going a little bit after that first round, and I, I thought that he was going to settle in and, and just take Cambosis apart, and he never did. Cambosis rallied, and then you saw uh, Lopez come come alive like eight, nine, and ten. He dropped him in the tenth. Looked like okay, uh, you know, tough of the next back today. <laughs> Great fight. Lopez is going to get through this. And then Cambosis won the last two rounds wide to win the fight. I had a 113-113 on my card. I had it even. You know, um, you guys can go check out my card. I have it on my Facebook, um, Gary John. And I have it on my Twitter, uh, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, you can see my round-by-round scorecard. Um, it's, you know, 
pretty standard, I guess, what a lot of people had. I, I you know, what I'm hearing, I heard it was 114, 112. A lot of, you know, so I, I gave one extra round somewhere to Lopez than what most other people had. Um, but I, you know, I, I had it even. I, I, it was a draw. But it did feel like after the fight, Cambosis had done the better work. Even though Mike Kulik could have had it even. Like, who do I think won? Um, Cambosis, right? Like, um, you know, in the amateurs, when, when you have a draw, they go to judge's preference. You know, who's the judge's preference? My preference would have been Cambosis. You know, even I had even. Uh, you know, I felt like Cambosis had won the fight. I, I felt Cambosis um, did better work. Um, it, I mean, it, 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 it was interesting. Um, also, the big tell. You saw two of the commissioners. I think it was WBA and one of the other belts. They lined up behind Cambosis. So when they were reading the scorecard, they, they had already given their, their their hand. They already showed their hand on who had won the fight. Uh, I knew the decision was going to Cambosis when they were reading the cards because they had lined up. The WBA and one of the other organizations had lined up with their belt out behind Cambosis. Like they were clearly going to crown Cambosis um, because the, the, the commissions are in with the scorekeepers, right? Um, this is one scorekeeper who tallies the cards. Um, and if you sit ringside, the commission that are right there to make sure that they tally the, the card right. So they, they know that they're not surprised, right? When that, when that card is read. And I could tell like <laughs> they were giving that belt to Cambosis. Um, just a little tell, little, uh, little tell for you right there. Um, I was really, really, really impressed with Cambosis, but just shocked really with how little Lopez adjusted. Like I said, there's no construction, I don't, I, instruction in, 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 in the corner. Um, you know, he never really got to just boxing or making a miss, making a miss. Like I always said Lopez is so wide open that if you can if you can counter him, but he's so fast and so violent with his shots, like he, in order to counter him, you have to stand in there with him. And who's gonna do that, right? Um Cambosis and Cambosis got through the day. Cambosis, you know, came in in extraordinary shape. It was the fight of his life. Um, it was the biggest fight of his career, and he fought the fight of his life and he got the W. Um I didn't see any adjustment from, from TV with Lopez. I wanted to see it after the first couple of rounds. I wanted to just watch the TV was sit back and outbox him. Um, and that never really happened. TV with Lopez kept getting hit with overhand rights and, 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 and hooks. Like, man, who, how was this the same guy that solved the matrix and outbox the matrix of it. And what does it say now of the matrix? Like, I don't even know what to make of this. This is this is why I'm utterly confused. But Cambosis scores the shocking upset um at Madison Square Garden. Um he's in the driver's seat now the lightweight division George Cambosis. Uh let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts comments below please like share and subscribe. Where does Cambosis go next? Is it a rematch? Is it Haney? Is it Ryan Garcia? And what does Tim Emo Lopez do if not a rematch? Does he go up to 140? Does he try to fight Haney anyway at 35? Does he try to, you know, if no rematch, where does each, where does each guy go? Um, I don't think there's a rematch close because, like, I mean, who the heck thought Cam Bosis was going to win this fight? Uh, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, subscribe to the other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, completely dedicated to Texas boxing. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery it's really near and dear to our heart um it is october 27th 2021 ivan calderon is still in the boxing hall is still not in the boxing hall and let's get the iron boy in uh from texas to the world thank you and god bless don't miss a tweet post story or video three boxing is on twitter instagram and facebook hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring